hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel um today i will be doing a traditional bonding install so if you would like to see how i do it in the process stay tuned first things first i'm going to section out her leave out because this is a traditional bonding install so i'm just going to do minimum leave out because her hair is very thick so she didn't need a lot of leave out and y'all i tried to record the braid down for y'all but this girl is so freaking tender headed she was making so many faces and i know how youtube or comments can get like they probably gonna think i'm hurting her but she's just very tender headed so i'm not going to include the whole breakdown process but i will show y'all the end result of how my breakdown looks but why is she dancing in my channel like <laughs> girl if you don't sit still Like, I'm literally just parting it. It's just look at her face. I'm literally just parting her hair. This is the finished look for the braid down, and I just tucked that braid underneath. Next thing you're gonna do is put two black caps on the hair and sew around the perimeter. And for my protection, I'm going to be using Pump It Up Spritz. I'm going to put this all around the hair and then blow dry. And then I'm going to use the Pump It Up Spritz again and blow dry as well. So I do two coats of the Pump It Up. I thought it was recording, but I already put the first track on. So what I do for my quick glue is I measure, cut, glue, put it down that's it just that simple um i wanted this to fall on her face so i'm just doing the back regular like from ear to ear and then once i get um past her ear i'm gonna go um from her leave out to her leave out until i can't anymore but i'm just gonna fast forward this part because it's just like the same thing over and over it's pretty much self-explanatory so y'all just keep watching And if any hairstylists or wig makers or whatever, just the hair business industry people, if y'all have other quick weave methods, please let me know because I have been trying different things. I'm just trying to figure out what works best for me. So if y'all could comment down below, that would be great. So now that I'm finished um, gluing in the tracks, I'm just going to press the hair slightly. I'm not going to do like a hard, hard press. I'm just going to do a slight press just to get the hair straightened before I cut it. And this is just to let y'all know that it is no glue on her hair. Hair free and it's very much seamless. Okay like don't get it twisted and now i'm just using a hot comb just to make sure the lumps at the top because i did not strain it for real look at her flinching like girl i was nowhere near her like she do the most i forgot to mention that this is 10 inch hair so in the front it was very much giving thin because it wasn't long enough and if i would have cut it shorter for it to be fuller it would have just gave it wouldn't have gave what i wanted her to walk out the door with so don't mind that little piece in the front because it's gonna be all right because her natural hair is thick so that kind of took care of it but anyway let's get into this bob cut i asked her what length she wanted it well, we didn't have a choice really because we got the wrong inch here. So I'm just basically cutting across and then using that guide C for the for my next cut. So I take the piece that I already cut and then a piece that's uncut and then I just make sure that it aligns together. And then I just eyeball it, honestly, the all the way around. 
I do make sure that I'm combing through it just to make sure that it's flat and down so I won't be missing any hairs. But also in the end, you're going to see me tilt her head down and you're going to see where I cut like unwanted hairs. Like if she put her head down, you're not going to see no hairs because you have to put their head down, tilt their head because you don't want your client walking out right here. And then they put their head down and it's like all this unnecessary hair that you didn't think you cut so just make sure you tilt your client's head look at that sharp cut though like don't even play with me look at that i had my serious face so i had to put something over my face <laughs> but okay so i'm finished cutting now so now you're gonna take the leave out spray it with some heat protectant and i'd use my favorite wax stick she is bomb i put it on the roots and then i put it on the ends because this my client is natural so we gotta press that thing out we gotta use the hot comb and the flat iron it's gonna get flat don't play natural relax baby whatever it's gonna get flat and then i use my baby list um, my one inch flat irons and then I just straighten that through I was kind of excited because I love when that blend because her hair is already kind of ombre so it looked really really cute but you're just going to do this to both sides So now that I did both sides, I'm just making sure her part is in the middle and making sure everything's flat. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bump the hair. I already straightened it, so I'm just going to bump it like a light bump. Not, not too much. We don't want to give Dora, but we going to give her a little sass, a little, you know, a little bounce. Now that I'm editing this video, I should have did that TikTok where it was like, or he be like, <laughs> I look bummy 98% of the time, but I give you a little, um, a little shink that ain't a little room, but on school, well, boom, I should have did that TikTok. Oh, cause she looks so good. Like, stop playing. And so, you guys, I'm finished. This is the final result. You see, my girl, Kim, was feeling herself. Like, stop playing with me. Stop playing. Hey, hey, okay. Like, stop playing with me. But, y'all, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, family. Everybody share it with your grandma. Everybody, okay? <laughs> I'm just playing. I love y'all, but make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, okay? All my social medias will be down in the description box below. So follow me, stock me. Bye, y'all.